Over the past five years, we've seen a dramatic spike in poaching. Every single year that we've had, there's been a, a grim new record that's been set. It's an illegal, multi-billion dollar trade that relies on a sophisticated global supply chain to cross borders and continents. It's a criminal network. I moved out from the road, they started shooting, I took a car. And I fired red. Fueled by vast sums of money. Pangolin feature soup, which goes for approximately 1,750 US dollars. 80, 90% of rhinos horns as fake. People are blending money, um, selling their house, to buy a buffalo horn. It can go up to 100,000 um, USD for, for a kilogram. It's rallied an army of activist celebrities with senior politicians now pushing big business to clamp down on high-speed trade routes. There are things that can really be done by people from operating cruise ships to airlines uh, to, to moving containers. The sheer size of the trade raises serious questions about the competence and ability of law enforcers to tackle the problem. With such high volumes still crossing the huge distances between source and consumer, is it time for a rethink in the battle strategy against the trade in illegal wildlife parks?